Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video today on uh, international currency collection. Uh, so, I collected these um, pretty regularly several years ago. I uh, don't really collect them anymore, but I still kept what I collected at that time. Um, so, most of these are going to be um, old issues. Some of them are current, but most of them are old issues. Um, the top one here is Afghanis, um, so I have as you see quite a few of these in there. Um, then we have the Iraqi, and the this one's current. This is from Iran. See the other side of them. Central Bank of Iraq, the dinar. It's ten thousand Afghanis, uh, ten thousand dinars, and that is ten thousand for Iran. Next page. This is Turkestan. Uh, some of these I don't remember where they're from if they don't say. You have to look them up. But these are, I try to organize them. So that's Yemen. This is Kuwait. So this is, I think, the next section here is going to be South America. It's Uruguay. Most of these are going to be pesos that they use. Uh, Argentina. And one thing when I started collecting these um, that struck my wife uh, was the uh, the beauty of a lot of uh, foreign currency. Uh, the colors and the pictures and everything is a lot of ways it's better than than what we have here in America as far as the uh, the craftsmanship and everything that they put on the on the film on the on the dollars they used. This is, this top one here, $10 billion. This is from Zimbabwe. Um, they had a hyperinflation situation there, I believe it was in 2008. And uh, they ended up having, I think their t the biggest bill was in the trillions. A uh, pretty crazy situation. Uh, but I have a whole bunch of these. This is Peru, Venezuela. This is old Venezuelan. Um, they have an inflation problem too. The back of the Zimbabwe note. This is Hong Kong, Shanghai. First one, I don't remember where that's from. Japanese government, I one of the uh, this may have been during the interwar period um, where we're still under occupation um, that they used this as tender, but I. I'm not positive about that, but that I think that's what that's from. Why they call them pesos in Japan is kind of weird, but I um, don't know. Zambia. Ethiopia. Nepal. So a lot of these, if you just go on and buy um, some of these uh, foreign currency lots, 
they all kind of have the same thing in them some of the cheaper ones um, and then you can kind of build from there this is a Congo And a lot of them, you know, they'll have like public works projects or different things like that that may be um, relevant to the country. Okay, one hundred quadrillion dollars. Uh, this is the the biggest note that they printed. Um, and actually, you know, this they printed and printed and printed, and um, then the currency collapsed, and they went back to using dollars and maybe pounds or something in Zimbabwe um, and these became you know they weren't worth anything um, but international people there you know thought they were a novelty so they, they would pick them up and now these sell for uh, usually around 100 US or more um, even though the, the actual bill doesn't have any value to it um, the 10 trillion have a couple of these uh, that's a thousand dollar bill there I have a few of these I think that are sequential the serial numbers just one after the other um, but as you know this is fun you know it's just you you get these and you're a trillionaire you know Yeah, these are the ones I have. So a $1,000 bill. Um, I think all these $1,000 bills I have are sequential. So you see 72111, um, 72112, 113. So I just did one. I saw this at one point in time and picked these up. In its day, I mean, Zimbabwe did have what I think are pretty attractive bills. Um, so it's the one dollar, the five dollar, ten dollar, twenty, the one hundred, the thousand. The one billion. 200 million, 500 million, 20 billion dollars, and then they did these aggro checks as well and issued these. So this is 25 billion dollars. $50 billion, 100 billion. This is another ten dollar a ten ten billion dollar bill. And that's the end of what I have with the Zimbabwe stuff. Um these are much older bills here. I'm trying to remember where they were from. I think these are um Soviet blocks. These currencies. I want to say this is the Weimar Republic. Um, let's see. So this would be Germany uh, before World War II. Uh, they had a hyperinflation problem too. Do this Romania. It's an English pound, Bank of England. And of course, the pound is stronger than the dollar, so 
these are expensive ish you know when you go to get these uh, this is an old english pound um you know it's attractive um this is bermuda and there's you know of course uh english empire british empire um they they were everywhere at one point in time so you have a lot of different countries that has uh queen elizabeth on there So you got Gibraltar, she's on that. The Caribbean, she's there. Island, the state of Jersey, she's there as well. Canada, she's on that. You got Australia here. And that, with one at the top, that's a, a Frank. Which they're very elaborate. Get a better look at that one. It's almost like a art piece or something. Then these are more, I think at the top, a more Soviet era stuff. Um, the bottom as well. And like I said, I used to remember all these. This is Italy. This, I think, is Greek. Some more stuff from the Middle East. Oh, this is another Iraqi. Okay. This is the Vietnamese Dong. Um, their exchange rate is also uh, very low compared to the United States. So you can get a lot of collectible currency from there. They got Nicaragua pretty cheaply. What do we got here? We got Peru. We got Ecuador. We got Mexico. 2,000 pesos. Costa Rica, Brazil, Chile, look at that, you know, that's just on your currency, that's kind of crazy, Honduras, Indonesia, this may be Miramar, I, I can't remember, Egypt this is China some of these may be duplicates from earlier Zambia This is uh, more Vietnamese currency. This is 5,000. No, I, thought, I think I have more, like 10,000. So this, if I remember correctly, um, this is what they would have been using in South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Um, so that's what they had there at that time. And there's 10,000 mark notes um, for well, 10,000 dong for Vietnam today. And then here we have some old uh, American money, um, silver certificates, two dollar bills.
This, I have doubts about the authenticity, but this is supposed to be a um, Confederate bond. Um, I got a long time ago. I also have some stamps smattered in here. And these are, especially these, like, like I said, if you bought some of the um, entry-level currency collectability things where you get like 10 or 20 pieces, most likely some of these are going to be in there. And then we have a British Armed Forces, five pence. And again, I have a bunch of different stamps that are stuck in here too in this book. These are uh, these are just copies. These are euros, fifty thousand euros. Um, it's a hundred thousand dollar bill here. Obviously, it's just a collectible. And then these um, five hundred dollar bill, which they don't make anymore. Thousand dollar bill, five thousand dollar bill, ten thousand dollar bill. Um, so you know, you remember these are from you know, early 1900s, mid, you know, and little mid-century stuff. You didn't have electronic transfers and all the things you had now, so you needed larger bills, and some of this stuff would have been just between one bank to another. It wouldn't be, you know, you're walking down the street with a $5,000 bill, a $10,000 bill. Uh, mostly it was like between federal reserves and things like that. They would have them, um, but they did exist. Some of these, in certain denominations, it may be all of these now, but at least some of them, I think it's illegal for you to own them. Uh, but that's it. Like I said, I have a bunch of stamps here. We're not going to go through those. But um, if you're interested in currency, international currency, thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you did. And we'll see you next time.